Hi. Now let's talk about profit and loss. Uh, the introductory part of profit and loss is CP is called as the cost price, whereas the price at what we are buying is called as cost price. SP is called as the selling price. The price at what we are selling is called as the selling price. Always if cost price is lesser than the selling price, then we get profit. If the cost price is greater than the selling price, we get loss. Now the question is the profit on this is the basic model of profit and loss. The profit on selling 20 tables. When I was talking about the profit, that is the selling price is greater than the cost price. So SP minus CP of 20 articles is equal to uh, the cost of cost price of 5 tables. So 5 tables cost price. So it is 5 4 zero. So it is 4 SP minus 4 CP is equal to CP. So it's very clear from this is 4 SP is equal to 5 CP. Now what is the cost price and the selling price ratio is 4 is to 5. That means the cost price is lesser than the selling price means we are getting profit. How much profit are you getting? Difference of the value 1. Always you will find out the profit or loss on the cost price 4 of 100. What is 1 fourth of 100? 25 percent. Therefore what is your answer? 25 percent is your answer. Next model is a trader sells his goods at a cost price. He promised to sell his goods at cost price. Whatever the price is he buying his is selling it for the same price and still earns a profit of 25 percent. So this is the uh, logic that we need to find. He is buying a particular article at 100 and still he wants to sell it at 100. Never ever there is a possibility. But the point not to be noted over here still he is maintained to get 25 percent profit. So for 125 percent profit is 125 is the selling price. Now, what way should he use for every 1 kg? Here, that's what we need to notice. Actually, 1 kg is 1000 grams. But he's not giving all the 1000 grams. Is just decreasing some particular grams. So, now the relation is if 125 percentage is 1000 grams. Is indirectly asking 100 grams is how much. So, we have used in percentages. If there is a 25 percentage more, how much percentage should be less? 25 percentage is 1 by 4. How much percentage it should be less? Write the same numerator and add them. Is 1 by 5. So what is 1 by 5? 20 percentage less. So 1000, 20 percentage is 200 grams. Remove 200 grams from 1000. So 800 grams is what he weighing for every 1 kg. So that's the first option. Next model. A salesman receives salary of 500 rupees per month. So it's very clear it is 500 rupees per month and whatever the extra commission is there is 5% on an annual turnover. Whatever the annual turnover is there on that he will be receiving a uh, 5%. So what should be his annual sales be such that he earns an average income of 1250 rupees per month. So first of all, I will discriminate 1250 rupees as 500 rupees as his salary and 750 rupees as his commission. The 750 rupees whatever he is getting is 5% for the whole year. Since it is for whole year, it is 750 into 12. This is what he is getting as a commission as 5%. When 5% is 750 into 12, is asking what is the sales 100 percentage is how much so if we calculate what is 100 percentage it is nothing but 100 into 750 into 12 divided by 5 if at all we do this we get the answer as 1 lakh 80 thousand after calculating all this so what is your answer 1 lakh 80 thousand So our answer is 1,80,000. Next model. Now 
the question is on income tax if the income tax is reduced from 20% to 17% what difference does it make to the person whose taxable income is 13200 so we need to find out what is 20% 20% of 13200 so 20% of 13200 is what the taxable income is so what is 20% of 13200 is zero zeros gets cancelled 2 into 132 is 2640 but instead of 20% it is given 17% what is 17% of 13200 so how much is this is 17 2 is 34 3 17 3 is 51 plus is 54 5 17 plus 5 is 22 so he needs to take 2640 but he is taking only double to double 4 so he is asking what is the difference 10 minus 4 is 6 mm, here it is cancelled it is 3 13 minus 4 is 9 Third, 9 now this is 4 4 sorry this is 5 5 minus 2 is 3 so it, what is the difference 396 okay not a problem there is no option over here probably the second option is not 306 it is 396 and the answer is 396 change the option number 2 it is 396 that is the answer let us see the next model if an article is sold at a particular price there will be a loss of 10 percent or a loss of 360 rupees so indirectly has given the 10 percent whatever is there is nothing but 360 rupees so what is 100 percent 100 percent is our cost price 3600 now if the article is sold at a profit of 15 percent so extra 15 percent what is that 15 percent when 10 percentage is 360 obviously 5 percentage is 180 so 360 plus 180 is 540 so 5 for 15 percentage is 540 so what is 115 percentage 115 percentage is 3600 plus 540 added is how much is 4140 rupees therefore what is our answer third option next model the cost price of two articles are equal so let us assume the cost price of the two articles they are 100 and as well as 100 there is a profit of 10 percent at 10 percent now the selling price is 110 over here and a loss of 4 percent loss means subtraction subtraction so this is 96 over here if the overall profit is 300 here yeah, 100 plus 100 is 200 110 plus 96 is 206 so for 200 it is 206 obviously for 100 it is 3 percentage is the profit so 3 percentage profit is given as 300 is asking what is the cost price of each article so is asking what is the cost when 3 percentage is 300 is asking what is 100 percentage when 3 percentage is 300 3 into 100 then 100 into 100 the cost price of each article is 10,000 rupees that's about the cost price of each article is